In 2022, the global number of confirmed executions increased by an alarming 53%, the highest recorded since 2017. But what's driving this increase, and who's responsible for it? One region in particular is driving this trend, the Middle East and North Africa, where known executions increase significantly by 59% from 520 to 825 in 2022. This is largely down to Iran and Saudi Arabia, who were responsible for an astonishing 94% of all known executions in the region in 2022. In Iran, known executions shot up by 83% from 314 in 2021 to 576 in 2022. Most were for murder and drug-related offences, with individuals condemned to death having been subject to unfair trials and false confessions, including people linked to protests. Saudi Arabia, which positions itself on the international stage as a progressive, future-facing society, tripled its number of recorded executions from 65 to 196. In one day alone, the Saudi authorities carried out a mass execution of 81 people. China, Iran, Saudi Arabia and Singapore were known to have executed people for drug-related offences in 2022, with Vietnam also likely to have carried out such executions. China, meanwhile, remains the world's most prolific executioner, with figures in the estimated thousands each year. But, like its neighbours North Korea and Vietnam, it shrouds its death penalty practices in secret. But despite the worrying increase in known global executions, the world continued to make remarkable progress against the death penalty in 2022. Four countries, Kazakhstan, Papua New Guinea, Sierra Leone and the Central African Republic, abolished it for all crimes, while Equatorial Guinea and Zambia abolished it for ordinary crimes only. As many countries continue to consign the death penalty to history, it's time for others to follow suit.